Hello guys, welcome back to another video from Kent Car Media. Today we're working on my new EP3 project car. Um, we're going to be assessing the rust and repairing any hidden areas in it. So we'll show you the things you need, uh, what you need to look out for. Um, these are the products we're going to be using today. We'll leave links in the description for all of them. Um, and we'll talk about each one as we use it. Right, so what I've done is I've jacked up this side. I've placed an axle stand under the lower control arm, under the car, nice and sturdy. And now we're gonna head round to the other side and do the same again. So we've just jacked up this side as well. Um, we've put the axle stand under the same position as the other side, but we're gonna leave the jack under this side for safety just in case anything does happen. Now we've just got to remove the wheels and we'll get started. That's a bit Tight, mate. A good trick to uh, get the old wheel off. You got to give it a. You got to give it a. <laughs> so we've got the wheel off off camera, um, and now we can see into the wheel arch. What is uh, the issue on the EP3 is that they come with carpeted wheel liners, which hold all the moisture. So all the metal behind then gets corroded through excess water being held on it. So we're going to whip the wheel arches off and see what condition is the metal behind. So there's a mixture of screws um, inside the wheel arch and also clips. We're going to pop them off, unscrew all the screws and hopefully the wheel arch liner will come out nice and easy. But that screw is completely f***. So I've just got the wheel liner out um, and I'm going to take all the mud and grime that's built up over the years out with just by just hand with a wire brush. Um, I'm going to repeat the process on the other side and then I'll get a drill with a wire wheel on it to take it back to bare metal and start preparing to coat. Now we've taken off all the dirt and grime. Um, it looks relatively clean, which is good. Um, so now I'm going to wire wheel on both sides back to bare metal. I'm going to use a smaller wheel to start off with, just to get in the uh, nooks and crannies. And uh... so when your arms start hurting, you call in the big guns. <laughs> What's up, baby? And we're slowly working our way back, taking quite a lot of it back to bare metal. So just finished with the wire wheeling and uh, we've masked both sides of the car up. It's quite a long process so we didn't film that because we thought it would be a bit boring for you to watch. Um, now we are going to use some Genolite rust converter on the areas that are a bit crispy. There's not too many so it shouldn't take too long. Um, I think, yeah, you have to leave, you have to do two to three coats and leave it 15 minutes between each coat to dry and then you just gotta wait for it to harden so we're gonna go ahead and do that now and so we finished applying the rust converter and it's now dried and we think it's done the right job so we're going to go ahead and apply a zinc rust inhibiting primer ready for our underseal coat on top of that. Uh, we do two coats of this 20 minutes apart, so let's go ahead and get done. <laughs> so we've just done one coat of zinc primer and it's looking a lot better already. Um, we're going to leave this to dry for 10 to 15 minutes. And then we're gonna go ahead and do a second coat ready for under sealing. So, the second coat of zinc primer is done. It's drying nicely. Um, unfortunately, it's a little bit late in the day now, so we don't wanna start under sealing because it takes quite a long time to go off. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna leave it as it is, um, let it dry properly, harden out, and we'll come back tomorrow 
to do the underseal. It's civic time. So, you join us tomorrow, as promised. It's a little bit colder today, so I'm wearing a coat. But uh, we're back with the underbody seal, and the zinc primer has dried nicely overnight. Um, and we look at, we think it looks really good. So we're gonna go ahead and start applying the underbody seal with added wax oil. We do two coats of this, uh, with one to two hours in between of a coat, and then we have to leave it to dry overnight. So let's get cracking. So, we finished first coat. We've left it approximately an hour and a half while we had some dinner, cooked by Robert, lovely. Um, now we're going back for the second coat. So we give it a good shake because it can suck for an hour. Right, so we have now finished the second coat of the underseal, as you can see, in both arches. Um, we need to leave it overnight to dry before we can take all of this off um, to have it time to harden and set. Um, then we will be coming back tomorrow, re reattaching the uh, arch liners, reattaching the wheels, and then we will be driving home. So we've come back the next day. We've, le we've left the, uh, the wax oil to do its thing and dry and harden. Um, it's done a really good job and it actually looks very, very neat and tidy. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna whip off all the uh, protective sheathing and we will then start to reattach the arch liners that we removed in the first place. So, we've removed all the sheathing, the protection. Sheathing? Sheathing. Protection sheathing. Um, we're now going to reinstall the original arch liners. Although people say don't do this, um, the condition of my arches weren't actually too bad, so I think they've done a, a job that they were supposed to do. So I'm gonna go ahead and reattach these in the arch. Right, so we've put the arch liner back in now. We're gonna go ahead and reinstall all the clips and screws that we removed in the first place. I'm gonna start with this one, which is a Torx head. It smells like farm under here. It's vile. Got there in the end. Right, so we've got the driver's side in. We're now on the passenger side. Same principle, just driving these screws in to the bumper. So thanks for watching today's video guys. We hope you've enjoyed it and we hope it helps you if you're going to undertake this project on your own EP3. So all the products we have used in this video will be linked in the description below. And make sure you like and subscribe.